I'm walking out of the beach at Cox Bay in Tofino. I'm so excited to be back here. And I may have had a few too many of these little guys from Tofino Brewing Co. But that's okay. We were actually at Tofino Brewing Co. earlier and while we were leaving the Flames game was on and we ended up sorry, just talking to the guy at the front and then I was randomly just like, hey man, do you like free food? He was like, yeah, it was a very weird thing to say, but yeah. All right, dude, well, do you want some samples? <laughs> All of a sudden I went to the car, brought out this massive bag of samples and just plopped them on the table. We're like, here's some free samples. Also, we have to label some of them and then told them our story, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get rid of samples and create more room in the car. So it is what it is, but it's, it's very entertaining for me. No, um, we've made it. We're about five weeks into our trip. I'm a little bit further just because I flew out a week early to meet up with Devin. And I'm just feeling very tired, very burnt out, I'm very exhausted because there's just been like no breaks. There's been nothing. It's just been like go, 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 go um, with like not a lot of time to just chill. So um, the last few days I've felt very unproductive. Um, I have just been doing a lot of reach outs, a lot of follow ups and store visits and it's just very discouraging work because we often get like ghosted or just like it takes forever to people get, for people to get back to us or we don't hear from people and it's just very discouraging um, and so that I think compounded with like not having a break has been exhausting um, and so I kind of said last night to Devin, I said I need a break today, I can't, I can't do this. Um, so we're going to take a nice chill day today. Um, do a little bit of surfing since we are in Tofino um, and get get some get some surfing in and um, hopefully feel a little bit more recharged that we can head into our last day in Tofino tomorrow with a little bit more energy and also head into Victoria next week with some more energy as well um, and really excited to sort of get out there with some more energy later once I've sort of had the day to recover a little bit. up with our itinerary for the day of all the different stores that we're gonna go visit. And what am I doing today? Driving Alessa around. That's your choice. Yeah, it is my choice. <laughs> so we went to drop off the samples and I didn't really get very far and he seemed very into the product. Um, I didn't do any, I was like, it's an endurance bar with spirulina and algae. And he's like, great. Um, and then he was asking me about distribution and I was like, we're actually picking that right now. It was like, we went from having no one to having like too many options. We're trying to decide. So we're trying to take input from the stores as we go around to see like who they like to work with and who's going to be the best for them before we decide. Um, and then he's like, okay, great. He's like, well, it's a head office decision. I think because we had the buy-in, buy-in from <laughs> Coquitlam. We got the buy-in. Like, he was like, cool. This, this is kind of like a sneaky thing. You just go to one store and be like, yeah, the other store yeah, is exactly. super into it. Yeah. So then, yeah. And he was like, okay, well, here's my card. He's like, you have to go through head office. And I got the, I didn't get the contact information, but I got the name of the person at the head office that I need to talk to. Okay. And he's like, I can't give Do they not have contact info They for these can't people? give it out. Yeah. Which is stupid, but he's that like, he's like, once you, and he's like, and basically until they have distribution, they probably, we have distribution, they won't really look at us. I walk in there, I go up to customer service, and I was like, hi, is in today? And they were like, yeah, let me call him for you. Knowing the name, such a huge help. Answers the phone, I get called up to go to the back, 
through the back upstairs to the offices to go meet with him. Go meet with <laughs> Drop his name. Thank you, Stan, um, for the contact information. Also for the clout that your name brings. Um, and for the peanut butter. Also for the peanut butter, I'm loving it. Uh, shout out to Fatso. Um, but I give him the, the cell sheet, I give him the samples. I'm like, yeah, like this is the product, blah, blah, blah. He's asking me some questions. He's like, what's the base? And I was like, it's a date-based bar. Here are the five core ingredients, which are, by the way, date, date paste, spirulina, sunflower seed butter, yakon syrup, and salt. And he's like, yeah, date-based bars don't really do very well in this store. I'm thinking that this store is a little bit less of a like health food store and more of just like a generic grocery store that's mm -hmm. the kind of vibe i got um anyways and he told me that he just delisted a date-based bar and he has one that he's still testing out but unless sales come up they're gonna have to delist them so that is something that we should be aware of in the future because we might get delisted but keep chatting with him i'm like why do you think that why do you think that is like what's happening what are you seeing and he's like people just want cliff bars He's like, they think they're healthy, even though they're filled with sugar and terrible ingredients. And I was like, amen, don't we know it? Um, so then just keep chatting with him. He's telling me about his daughter. He's telling me about how she's chick picking between school in Montreal and Toronto. I tell him about my experience in Miguel uh, in Montreal and, and all of that. Um, gets really personal then he's asking me about like listing who are we listed with and whatnot and I, I say you know these are who we're looking at he says cool P we like working with them main one for the island all that good stuff um tells me his thoughts on some other distributors and he's like I will send them an email and let them know that once they list with you um we'll give you guys a try so can I get a hell yeah hell oh, yeah Nice. These are peanut butters. Individual packets. Give it a massage, rip it open, eat it, or better, put it on one of these babies right here. What are these? These are endurance bars made with spirulina algae. So lots of energy to fuel you up for your hike. That hike right there. <laughs> we reached out to our good friends at Fatso who make phenomenal peanut butters with no bad oils, no palm oil, etc. And they're just, they're incredible. We decided that we were going to do a little impromptu kind of guerrilla style sampling session. So we went out to a mountain and set up a table and caught people on the long weekend you know while they were out just about to go out for a hike and and overall it was an awesome experience we've been super busy here in victoria just kind of going to stores trying to get the product out there as much as possible doing a couple little sampling sessions at trailheads and whatnot and now it's when the fun really starts because tomorrow i'm competing competing is kind of like a competing I'm surviving during the half Ironman in Victoria, uh, which is a 1.9k swim followed by a 90k bike and right into a half marathon. Obviously, these last few months of trying to build this business have <laughs> just kind of made my training go out the window, but I feel pretty good and I'm really excited for it. And regardless, it's going to be a ton of fun. But yeah, today is all about kind of like preparing for that, um, getting the bike ready, getting everything else ready to go. And most importantly, my favorite thing ever, carbo loading, which is incredible because I just can eat as much as I can. Just eat and eat and eat and eat. It's amazing. Good morning. It's currently 3.30 a.m. on Sunday, May 29th, and I just woke up because it's Iron Man 70.3 Victoria Day, and I am extremely tired but also excited to get this get this done I hadn't biked more than 
160 kilometers at one time prior to the event, so that was really challenging. And then hadn't really run maybe 15K in the, ah, no, a little bit more than that, maybe 20K in the month prior to the event just because I was nursing a foot injury. And the run was, was tough, really, really tough. Um, just looking at the videos, I was like, wow, I am going so slow. But I think it was a, a bit of a, not a bit, it was a very humbling experience because now I know I can't just go into something like this expecting to perform at a level that I would like to see myself perform and then get the result that I received. Are you? How about I'm your new bike? I'm very excited. I'm so excited to finally have a bike. It's been months of trying to find one. Months. Months. And now I have one. Wow. Thank God. Alessa and I are becoming professionals at doing this. Just showing up places and Hi. asking people if they want free food, free samples. Very much looking like we don't belong. Me in my Chelsea boots and Alessa in her more athletic wear than I'm currently wearing. <laughs> I think in the future, if we show up to a bike trail network, we should probably have bikes and maybe some other stuff with us. 